Okay, so this is a video tutorial on how to install uh, the Arduino software for programming the Arduino Nano. Uh, to start off with, I've attached my Arduino Nano to my computer with the uh, included USB cable. Uh, and I'm going to start off by going to hackberrylab.com. And I'm going to click on this Student Resources tab. And then I'm going to click on Arduino. And here you'll see that there's an Installing Arduino tutorial um, where you'll be able to access some resources that we're going to use. Uh, and we're going to start off by going to the Arduino IDE download page. On here, we're going to find the latest version of Arduino that we're going to install. If you're on Windows, you're going to want to use this Windows, Win7, and Newer option. There are some other options down here, um, but you'll want to avoid those. This top one is the one that you want to use. For Apple users, this Mac OS X is the one to look for. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to click on this one. And it'll take you to this kind of contribution page. Uh, so you don't have to contribute to it. You can just click Just Download. Uh, and begin downloading the software. And so we're going to let that run for uh, just a few moments and finish downloading, and then I'll show you how to actually access the file. Okay, so at this point we're going to show it in our software, so that can be, you know, your, your file program. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to avoid just kind of double clicking this. Uh, if you're on a PC, you're actually going to want to unzip this uh, to an area on your computer. Uh, for Macs, you can just click right-click and click Open, and it's going to begin to expand and release that. The reason why you want to avoid just kind of double-clicking it on PCs uh, is it won't actually unzip the software, um, and it may not function properly. So make sure you properly unzip the, the file, and then you can uh, extract the software. So in this case, I've got my Arduino software here. Um, I'm going to drag it to my Applications folder, uh, and I'm going to get ready to get started. So at this point, I can go and find it and open up the software. And it may take a few minutes the very first time you open it. And that's just kind of setting up various files. So you can see it's installing here. Um, but it only has to do this one time. Um, after you use it uh, a few times, it'll actually open up much quicker. So at this point, you can see the software starting up. And we should be ready to go in just a moment. OK, so here we can see our Arduino software has opened. I'm going to expand this window out. Uh, and there's going to be one thing that we're going to check, uh, and that's that, that our computer is able to communicate with our Arduino board. Uh, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go over here to Tools, and we're going to set Board uh, to uh, Arduino Nano. Uh, and so if you come over here to Arduino Nano and Arduino, Arduino AVR boards, uh, it may be set to one of these other options by default, but if you just select on Arduino Nano, uh, that's going to let it know that we want to talk to the Nano. Over in Ports, uh, we should see uh, an option here that's either you know COM3, COM4, COM5 if you're on a PC, uh, or this you know WCH USB serial uh, if you are on a Mac. Uh, so kind of look for those, uh, and that will let you know that you're able to communicate with the Arduino board. Um, if you don't see uh, any of those options, uh, then what you need to do is go back to the Hackberry Lab page, and you may need to install a driver that specifically allows you to talk to this Arduino board. Um, so again, if you don't see that you're getting a you know, COM4, COM5, or this WCH serial uh, connection here when you go into port, uh, go ahead and pause here for just a moment and install one of these drivers. There's one for you know PC Windows and then one for Apple Mac. Uh, when you install this, it will require you to restart your computer. And so make sure you follow all the instructions just to get installed. Restart your computer and then open up the Arduino software and you should see uh, that uh, Arduino pop up. At this point, we're just going to see if we can communicate with the Arduino. Um, and so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to click this little upload arrow here, and that's going to kind of compile this code. There's nothing really going on here, but this is just going to check. And what we want to see is down in this green bar, we want to see it say done uploading. Uh, if for some reason you get some red angry text here, or you know it says timed out or turns orange or yellow, um, what you may try is coming here to processor and changing it to the at mega 32 or 328p old bootloader. Um, try you know swapping over to that one and re-uploading. Uh, if that works, awesome. Um, but for most of the, the Arduinos that we use, this option should be okay. And so when you click upload again, 
it's going to compile that code and just give you this done uploading uh, code. If for some reason you're not able to find the you know the port, and that's after kind of installing this this driver, um, or if it just doesn't seem like you're able to get this Arduino code to upload and give you this done uploading command, uh, go ahead and come into the lab, and we can sometimes help you with your own kind of specific computer and make sure that things are set up correctly and, and get you going before we actually start class. Um, the other thing that we're going to do while we're here is we're going to install a few different code libraries. And these code libraries are going to help us work with some of the more kind of sophisticated, you know, tools that we're going to use in the lab, such as NeoPixels and capacitive touch sensors. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this sketch menu, come over to include library and manage libraries. And this is going to give it access to some just additional code uh, libraries that are going to help us just work swiftly through some of these things that we're working with. And so once this opens up, I'm going to type in NeoPixel, uh, and it's going to begin to search. Uh, and you'll see that we actually want this third one on this list called Adafruit NeoPixel by Adafruit. Uh, so you can see I've already got it installed. I have version 1.7, uh, but I'm actually going to upload to the latest version, um, and you may be installing it for the first time. Uh, and so you can click Install or Update, uh, and it's going to go ahead and get you the latest version of the NeoPixel library. And that's going to be really useful for us. Uh, the other one that we're going to install is called Capacitive Touch Sensor Library. I'm just going to type in Capacitive. Uh, and if I scroll down a little bit, uh, what I'm looking for is this Capacitive Sensor by uh, Paul Stoffergen. Uh, and again, I'm going to kind of install this version. Looks like I've got the latest version installed, um, but you'll want to install uh, your version uh, or a version as well um, so you have access to that. So we'll be using that in the uh, throughout the semester as well. So once you've installed those libraries and you've made sure that you've got this done uploading uh, message, then you're in good shape and you're going to be ready to start programming uh, when we start the Arduino Lab on Wednesday. And that's it.